With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Well, hello students. Now we're going to see this question. The question says that a stone is dropped from a top of a tower of height 100 meters. The stone penetrates on the stand on the ground through a distance of 2 meters. Calculate the retardation of the stone. Okay. So if we see the motion of the stone, then we will see that for from the top of the tower to the bottom. Okay. Let's suppose this is the tower. Okay. And from the top of the tower, let's suppose over here to the bottom itself, it comes with gravitational acceleration. Okay. For over 200 meters. Okay. 200 meters. If you see over here, the height of the tower is given basically 100 meter, not 200 meters. It is 100 meter. It is given. So, and over here, it starts deaccelerating due to sand present over here. Okay. It starts deaccelerating and finally ends over here at a distance of two meters again. Okay. Two meters. So over here, acceleration is different. So we will find the acceleration at this point. What will be the acceleration? Basically, we know that the stone is starting from rest. First, we will see uh, the motion one. Okay. Motion 1 is what basically when it is falling from the uh, building to the ground. Motion 1 is basically u will be equal to 0. Acceleration will be equal to 10 meter per second square which is g. Okay. And finally h will be equal to s will be equal to 100 and we need to find v. Okay. So these are the things. So we need to find v. We will use the third equation of motion that is v square is equal to u square plus 2as. Okay. So v square v will be equal to under root of 2 into g into s okay so this will be equal to under root of 2 into 10 into 100 okay so this will come out to be what this will become 1000 and 2000 okay so it will become under root of 2000 okay so we need to find we will just leave it like this for now and we will move on over here so we got the velocity over here is equal to 2000 okay so now we will use the equation of motion in motion number 2. So motion 2, what is motion 2? When it hits the ground and basically deaccelerates due to the sand. Motion 2, u will be equal to what? Basically uh, v initial I am telling. Okay, v initial will be equal to under root of 2000, under root 2000. Okay, this is not 2000, basically under root 2000, under root. So 2000. And v final we don't need. Okay, v final we have is equal to 0. Okay, and s we have equal to 2 meter and we need to find acceleration. So, what is what, which formula we'll use? We'll use again the third equation of motion. So, v square is equal to u square, u square plus 2as. 2as. So, over here v square is basically uh, v final so it will be 0 u square is basically under root 200 with 2000 which will become 2000 into 2 into a into s plus 2 into acceleration will be equal to 10 into s will be equal to 2 okay so this is what we're gonna get so what we're gonna get s is basically 2 and what we need to find basically we needed to find acceleration only it is not 10 basically because it is not falling under gravity we need to find the acceleration so acceleration will be equal to minus 2000 divided by 4 which will be equal to 500 meter per second square that also negative okay so it is deaccelerating at retardation is basically 500 meter per second square retardation okay retardation is obviously retardation uh, why didn't i write the negative sign over here because retardation already represents negative acceleration okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today